The WeatherTech Pet Barrier is an adjustable and expandable heavy-duty barrier that keeps pets safely secured in the rear of your vehicle. With your purchase, you should have received two vertical bars, two horizontal bar sets, two horizontal mounting clips, two fence locks, and four rubber feet. Start by placing a rubber foot on a stable surface and insert one end of one of the vertical bars into the tube opening of the foot, pushing down until the bar snaps securely into place. Repeat this step on the other end of the same vertical bar. Next, hold the vertical bar upright with the red locking adjustment knob at the bottom. Rotate the knob clockwise until the foot is fully seated. Repeat these steps on the second vertical bar. Then, twist the aluminum section of the vertical bar to unlock the height position pin. When unlocked, the pin should be seen in the open channel, and the black upright should be able to freely slide up and down. Place the first vertical bar into the vehicle, behind the headrest, and extend the aluminum bar until the top foot touches the ceiling. Then, twist the aluminum bar into the nearest locking position, and remove the vertical bar from the vehicle. Next, rotate and set the second vertical bar to the same height and lock position as the first vertical bar. To attach the horizontal bar set, lay both vertical bars next to each other on a flat surface, the approximate distance apart that they will be in the vehicle. Then, remove all thumb nuts from their carriage bolts. Slide and center the brackets on the horizontal bars to align with the vertical uprights. Install a horizontal bar onto the carriage bolts with the recessed side of the horizontal bar bracket facing away from the aluminum bar. Fasten the thumb nuts onto the carriage bolts to secure the horizontal bar into position. Repeat this step with the second horizontal bar. If one of the horizontal bars needs to be installed on the black upright portion of the vertical bars, start by removing both horizontal bars from the vertical bars, if already attached. Then, remove the upper rubber foot of one of the vertical bars using a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen one of the thumb nuts on the same vertical bar and remove both the thumb nut and the carriage bolt from the bar. Then, reinstall the rubber foot and retighten the Phillips head screw. Remove the thumb nut from the carriage bolt and install the bolt into one of the mounting clips. To attach the mounting clip to the vertical bar, snap the opening of the clip onto the aluminum bar and slide it down the black upright. Repeat these steps on the other vertical bar. Next, install the horizontal bar onto the carriage bolts with the recessed side of the horizontal bar bracket facing away from the black upright. Then, fasten the thumb nuts onto the carriage bolts to secure the horizontal bar into position. Once the horizontal bar is secured to the black upright, install the second horizontal bar onto the carriage bolts of the aluminum bar using the same procedure. Included with your pet barrier, are two fence locks that will securely lock the horizontal bar installed onto the black upright in place. The inner hooks secure the fence lock to the mounting clip, while the outer hooks lock into the openings on the vertical bar. To install the fence locks, start by making sure there's an unimpeded vertical bar opening on either side of the mounting clip. Then, slide the fence lock onto the mounting clip until you feel it snap securely onto the bar. To install the assembled pet barrier, place the upper feet against the ceiling of your vehicle and slide the lower feet into position. Rotate the red locking adjustment knobs at the bottom of each vertical rod counterclockwise to extend the lower feet and secure the pet barrier into place. Once secured, tighten each thumb nut and slide the extensions out of the horizontal bars. Congratulations! Your WeatherTech pet barrier is now installed.